In this episode of Control Issues, we'll be controlling a ServoCity.com Runt Rover from an Android device using a product called the Motor Air. We don't carry the Motor Air on ServoCity.com, but we thought it was an interesting looking product, so we decided to get one in and review it and see if we can get it hooked up to a Runt Rover to drive it around. After you receive the motor error, about the only complex part of this whole setup would be installing the software on your phone. It's not available on the Google Play Store, unfortunately, and it's also not available on iOS. I have with me a ZTE Android phone, which is the phone that first competition teams will be using. And we're going to walk through the process of getting the software from the tinyosshop.com website and installing it on the Android phone. So you'll want to go to the tinyosshop.com website and pull up the product page for one of the flavors of Motor Air. They have one with a Bluetooth B, one with a Wi-Fi B, and one with neither. Any one of those will have the link at the bottom to get the Android app. Um, so we're using the Bluetooth version, so we're going to click on the Android app Bluetooth uh, link and we're going to go ahead and download. Once it's done downloading, you want to go to File Manager, Phone, Download, and then click on the APK file. It'll warn you that the installation's been blocked, and so you'll need to go to Settings, and check the box for unknown sources. Essentially, it's saying you're installing something that wasn't in the Google Play Store. Now we can go back and proceed with the installation. Once the installation is done, you'll want to go back to your settings. Go to System Settings, and then look for Security under Personal and uncheck the unknown sources checkbox. You'll see that I have a stock bogey rent rover with a few additions. I've used a couple beams and some Actobotics grommets to make a universal board holder on top. And similarly, I've used some taller grommets on the bottom to make a battery holder. I've also extensively used heat shrink to color code and organize the wires. In fact, it holds the three uh, connectors at the end together quite nicely. And then I've hijacked some servo uh, leads and done the same thing to it so that I can easily connect this to the board. I also have a latching push button, which we'll be carrying soon on servocity.com to engage or disengage the battery. To put the board in place, I simply slip it into the little slots and then I can squeeze the grommets together a little bit. Then I can slide it back and forth and adjust so they can access the screw terminals. Next, we're gonna connect the motors. And finally, we'll connect the battery wires. I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery in. And then when I push the button, you'll see the lights come on. And then on the app, all you have to do is hit any of the buttons and it'll pop up saying that it, the first time you use it, it'll say that there are no devices that have been paired. We're gonna scan for devices and we'll see a Bluetooth B. We're gonna select that. And at the top, you'll see a pairing request. We're gonna select that and we're gonna type in one, two, three, four. And now we're connected. You'll notice that the light has turned blue on the motor air. And now the buttons on the app will control your Runt Rover bogey. The buttons in the app are not proportional, but you can dial down the speed of the motors if you're working in a small space. 
It's also worth noting that while this is a pretty quick get you up and running project to drive around your robot with a smartphone, um, and it is Arduino based, it's not an Arduino um, or some other more extensible project like that. So it gets you up and running pretty quickly and you can control it from your phone, which is cool, but you're not gonna be doing a whole lot more with it outside of that. Thanks for watching Control Issues. As always, we'll put links in the show notes to the Instructables that goes along with this episode, as well as links to everything you need to do this project yourself. Control Issues is brought to you by Robot Zone, inventing the parts for your ideas. And ServoCity.com, the place to go to buy the parts for your projects. If you've got questions or ideas for future episodes, send an email to tech at ServoCity.com.